Hi, welcome back to the Stovetop. So in the past, I did a comparison between Traverse City Whiskey Company Premium Cocktail Cherries and ordinary store brand Maraschino Cherries. The Maraschino Cherries were sweet, the cocktail cherries were tart. Given a choice, I kind of prefer the cocktail cherries over the Maraschino Cherries. But Traverse City Whiskey Company is not the only Michigan company making a cocktail cherry. Ah, fragile. It must be Italian. So this is my chance to do another unboxing because unboxing videos are easy to do and they're really kind of fun to make. So I'm going to go ahead and use my buck knife here and open up this package. I ordered these cherries off of Amazon.com. They're of course packed with the gratuitous bubble wrap. All right, so what do we have here? We have Peninsula Premium Cocktail Cherries. All right, so let me read some information here off the label. So these are out of Hart, Michigan, which is on the west side. And it says here that uh, contains cherries, water, sugar, corn syrup, cherry juice concentrate, elderberry juice concentrate, natural flavoring, vegetable juice concentrate for color, and citric acid. Real cherries may contain pits. And there is a website there. Now as far as these cherries, I have never tried these before. I've never seen these available in the local grocery stores. What I have seen are the Traverse City cherries. So let's go ahead and open this up and give it a try. What I'm gonna do, and I might be committing blasphemy here, I'm gonna use Traverse City Whiskey Company bourbon and not use the Traverse City Whiskey Company cocktail cherries, but I'll use the Peninsula Premium Cocktail Cherries. So let's go ahead and open this up. It took some effort to open that, but I was trying to be very careful so I didn't spill it. So let's go ahead and, yeah, see, it's got cherry syrup in here. It's a little bit thinner than the Traverse City Whiskey Company syrup. But you've got a, a dark cherry in there. Go ahead and put one in and throw in a little syrup. And I'm going to go ahead and fish out a cherry here. Just go ahead and try it by itself. Not bad. That's different than the Traverse City Whiskey Company cocktail cherry. If you've ever had something that was uh, black cherry flavored, that's kind of the, the, the flavor I'm getting. A little bit of grape. It must be that elderberry concentrate in there. So let's go ahead and, and see here in the cocktail that, that uh, cherry juice has added some red to it. I shouldn't really say cocktail, it's just some whiskey. Uh, this would be better, of course, in a mixer, not with just straight alcohol, but let's see if this does anything to the taste of this bourbon. Now, I don't smell anything other than the bourbon. No, overall, it, uh, it hasn't, hasn't uh, soaked in but I think in the future I might go ahead and try this out in a in a uh, cocktail I've got to say having different things that you can either garnish your drink with or something that might add some some different uh, a different kind of flavor taste to it uh, is a good thing especially when you have company over and you want to just do something a little bit extra something a little bit nicer or maybe, you know, somebody does want to have a cocktail with you, but they, they really don't drink a lot. So, so uh, you know, it seems a little bit more harsh to them. So something like this is a good option. I'm going to go ahead and include a link in the description section below where you can order this directly off of Amazon. And who knows, maybe sometime when I'm up north or on the west side of the state, I might actually see this available somewhere. Not really too sure. 
But uh, I would say it's definitely a, uh, a different option than the uh, Traverse City cherries. And uh, not a bad one at all. Thanks for watching. One more thing to add. It says right here at the top in red, refrigerate after opening. So I'll refrigerate these like I do the maraschino cherries. With the Traverse City Whiskey Company Premium Cocktail Cherries, all it says is store in a cool, dry place. Keep out of direct sunlight. That's it. So I've stored these on the uh, kitchen counter without an issue. That's just something else to keep in mind if you happen to get these. Thanks again for watching.